Are you joyful in your heart right now? Is the joy of the Lord radiating in your homes? Is the joy of the Lord radiating in your life? Are you experiencing the joy of the Lord right now? I want you to answer that question yourself. Because many people, they put on, they dress well, they speak nice. Everything about them is good. But the joy of the Lord, that joy that flow from the heart is missing. Is your joy based on circumstances? Is your joy based on what is happening around you? Is your joy based on the situation that is going on in your environment? Or is your joy based on the new achievement that you have accomplished so far? Or your joy is embedded and enriched in the word of God? What is the basis of your joy? What is the basis of the joy that you have? Today there are three areas that I want to emphasize. And I want us to know you are going to judge yourself based on these three areas. Whether your door is full. Whether your door is full. Say this thing I've written unto you that let this, my joy remain in you and that my joy might be full. That the joy of the Lord might be full in your life. Is the joy of the Lord full in your home? Is the joy of the Lord full in your situation? Is the joy of the Lord full? Take over you when you see people with joy. It doesn't really matter what they are experiencing. Even in pain, they give glory unto the Lord. Even in devastated situations, they give glory unto the Lord. With the world around us, with what is happening everywhere, can your joy still remain full? With the situation going on all around, can your joy still remain full? Christ has come today to give you a joyful heart. Christ has come today to give you a joy that lasted forever. Christ has come today to give you the joy that knows no bound. Christ has come today to give you that joy that can make an impact in the generation yet unborn. I come to challenge you today that sorrow is not your portion, that depression is not your portion. The drug, those drugs that you are using to make you to feel better, those are not your portion because the joy of the Lord is your strength, because the joy of the Lord is all that you need. The Bible declared that rejoice in the Lord. Where do you get your joy from? How do you rejoice in the Lord? How do you make your, the joy of the Lord to abound in your life? A joyful heart is a forgiving heart. Number one, a joyful heart is a forgiving heart. In Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32, the Bible declared that, And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Also in Colossians chapter 3 verse 13, may declare that forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgiven you, so also do ye. I want you to ask you a question. Maybe one of the reasons why you fail to have a joyful heart is because you still have that spirit of unforgiveness in you. Maybe one of the reasons why you are so much in pain and in agony in your heart is because of you, you fail to forgive people that have already, that have wronged you in the past. Maybe because of this unforgiving spirit, you realize that uh, your joy has been missing. I come to declare to you today that the only way through which your joy can be established is to have a forgiving heart, is to forgive those who have wronged you, is to forgive those who have offended you, because Christ forgave all of us. Christ Pay the price on the cross of Calvary. He said, I've come that thou might have life and thou might have it more abundantly. He forgave all our sins and he remembered them no more. He cast them into the sea of forgetfulness. The same thing that Christ did, can you do the same also? 
the same thing that he did on the cross, can you do it also? On the cross, he was nailed to the cross. They were mocking him. Everybody was looking at him. They said, if you call yourself the son of God, why don't you save yourself and save us? Why don't you save yourself and save us? And they look at them and they say, Father, forgive them. Do not count this against them, for they know not what they have done. For they know not what they did. Here we are today, because he has given us the victory in Christ Jesus. Here you are right now, as you listen to me. Do you have that unforgiving spirit? Maybe somebody has wronged you in the past, and you said, never. I will never forgive him. I will never forgive him, because of what he has done for me. Because of what he did in my life. Because of the thing that he did for me, I can never forgive him. Unless, even unless, you, you, you already made a vow. And you said it can never be possible. I come to tell you today, do you have that joyful heart in your heart? If that door is not there, perhaps it's not there. Or it's half, it's half. Then you need to reconsider. You need to reconsider your way. Christ has forgiven you. And there is no need to keep unforgiving spirit in your heart. Because an unforgiving spirit will hinder your spiritual growth. A, 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 an unforgiving spirit will create a body in your, in your heart. And as a result of unforgiving, you will be stuck where you are. You won't be able to move forward. God wants you to enjoy the fullness of, his, of, his, of, of, of all that he has for us. God wants you to have joy. Full, deep enough, and that that joy shall overflow, regardless of your circumstances. I come to declare to you today that the joy of the Lord shall continue to be your strength. That rejoice in the Lord. And once again I say rejoice. We remember the story of Apostle Paul and Silas. They were thrown in dungeon. They were thrown in, 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 in prison. In, they were beaten. And everyone, the Apostle Paul, they knew that the, 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 the beating was enough for them to even turn their back. But also, this is the story. They forgave. Even they, 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 they forgave and they forgave. The man that was even the one that, be, that, 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 that dished out the, the beating. And this man turned out to, 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 to accept Christ. He accepted Christ into his life. Apostle Paul and Silas forgot about the countless beating. They never even think about the suffering, the affliction they encountered. And because they were on target for the message of the Lord, they, because they were on message for the gospel of Christ, they forgave all that has wronged them. I come to challenge you today for your joy, for you to have a joyful heart, you have to have a forgiving spirit. For you to have a joyful heart, you have to have a forgiving spirit. I want to talk about Joseph. Joseph in Genesis chapter 45, verse 2. Joseph has a forgiving spirit towards his fellow brothers. In Genesis chapter 50, verse 2, the Bible says, As for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to, bring to pass as this day, to save much people alive. This is the testimony of Joseph. This was the testimony of Joseph concerning his brother. Today I come to challenge you today. I come to remind you today that the purpose of God for your life is to begin to, to be established in the knowledge of his will. People will wrong you. People will ask you. People will even sometimes try to Maybe offend you, but don't let the, their offense cause a stumbling block in your relationship with the Lord. A joyful heart. Have that forgiving spirit today, and you will see how the Lord will take you to a greater high. Do what Joseph did, and Joseph forgave all his brothers. And not only that, God fulfilled his promises in his life. The same God that fulfilled the promises of, of, the, uh, uh, of, of Joseph and his people shall fulfill all your promises in the name of Jesus. Every promises of God concerning you, concerning your family, 
concerning your homes as you have that a spirit of forgiveness today, that joyful heart shall be yours in the name of Jesus. Also, not only a, 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 a forgiving heart, 